everyone. This is Nona Grace, and I'm from Western New York. Today I had a few thoughts that ran through my head, so I'm just going to give you the thoughts that I had that ran through my head. Today I was thinking about what things that irk me. I get really disappointed when I hear that people are lazy, especially kids. They've got so much energy for other things, but they're just lazy when it comes to doing the little jobs that their parents want them to do. Braggy people, that's another thing that I don't care for. Complaining about how old you are. <sighs> yeah, I, I hear it all the time. I hear, but I'm 76 years old and I, I, whatever. It's okay, you can be 76. Things that surprised me, the things that surprise me are what people, that people actually click on my videos and watch them. I am just uh, really amazed at that. And um, I get a lot of thoughtful comments. The comments, sometimes I wish that they were all here when I was making my video because some of the comments that they come up with, I should say, oh, I should have said that. Or I should have thought of that. And that's a good idea. And they, they do bring out things that's, that doesn't come to your mind when you're doing it. And I'm always surprised at how many of you really don't finish a video. You start it, you comment, but you don't really finish it. Because if you finished it, I would hear the things that there's something in there that I should have heard that really was, you can't miss it. But they apparently don't watch the full thing so that shows me that they didn't i'm surprised at how many non-speaking english people have subscribed to my channel unless they're learning english sometimes um people click on us on a channel like i'm listening to this minister that speaks extremely slow spanish and it's actually i can catch some of the words which is is kind of nice but then there's other channels that they rattle it off so fast that it's not a teaching video for me where some of them are teaching videos so maybe that's what I am maybe I'm a teaching video because I don't speak super fast and I, I think I speak pretty clear because when I look at the closed captioning it usually is pretty close to what I said so apparently it's detecting that I'm speaking quite clear and I'm also surprised at how homesteaders are working so hard to become self-sufficient. Uh, it just amazes me that they want to live that lifestyle when, you know, I, I grew up in that lifestyle and that's not the lifestyle that I want, but, you know, I'm so proud of you for wanting to do that. Yeah, there is a lot that can be learned from it and you can carry it on into your, into your lives as you grow older and I have, con I have the conveniences. Even when I go camping, people say that I go in luxury because I don't tent camp. camp. I use a camper. I don't want to sleep on the ground. I did that. I slept in cow pastures. I floated my pancake batter in the creek because I didn't know that um, you could mix it with water. We used to mix it with milk. Well, we had a lot of milk, so we would mix it with milk and float it in the creek to keep it cool like the Amish have a... Uh, sink that they don't wash dishes in but there's a spring water that rolls in and they they let it roll on top of their milk a lot of times to keep it from going sour so that it keeps it cool at a cool temperature. I also made three trips to the post office today. The first trip was to see if I could mail my flag. I got Elizabeth did email me. I got her address so I um, made a trip to the post office. The, it, the flag did not fit in one of their envelopes. So I had to bring it back home and try to figure out how I was going to, to um, package it. So I put a couple pieces of cardboard on both sides and I taped it up and I, I wrapped it in white paper. And then I took another trip to the post office. I didn't realize that they took their lunch hour, they actually take an hour, from noon to one they go on lunch and I didn't know that because I don't go to my mail gets delivered to right outside I, I just cross the road and get my mail so then I took a third trip to the post office and this time my package went out so Elizabeth you should get your flag by Monday it's supposed to be there Monday I can track it but it says on the little tracking paper that it should be should arrive at your house 
on Monday. I want to tell you, when I went into the post office the first time, I was looking like I was struggling with the door. It's a heavy door, and I had things in my hand, and this young man comes out, and he just says, hi, and never, never attempts to help me with the door. When I went the third time, there was a young man there, and he held the door for me. So some of you have manners, and some of you don't, and I thank the ones that have manners. So that's my video for today. I thank you for watching. If you made it this far, thank you very much. And if you made it this far, give me two hearts. I would like two hearts. They can be a double heart. They can be two hearts that are separate. But just give me two hearts or write the word heart. And I will know what you mean. And I will talk to you all at another time. Bye.